Okay, so that is the loft feature and the revolve feature um, demonstrated. But we, so that's the Fusion 360 side of the design. Now we need to import it into Slicer for Fusion 360 because that will take our design, slice it, which will give the information that we need to build our lamp. Now, so you need to have already installed Slicer for Fusion 360, which is it's uh, a separate uh, add-on to Fusion 360. So they work together, but it is a separate um, little app. And it's once you've installed it, if you go to the, actually, I might do the square one. Um, actually, let's choose this one here. Um, if you go to make, now usually we'd go there for 3D printing, but now that I've installed it, I can see Slicer for Fusion 360. So I click on that and it's going to say, hey, what actually do you want to slice? I'm gonna say it there. And I'm happy with medium on the resolution. And I hit OK, and it's going to think about this for a bit. Uh, importing the shape. And now I'll just make this a little bit smaller so you can see it. Yep, there we go. Okay, so here's our shape, but still, it's still um, as it was when we left it. We need to tell. Um, Fusion 360, how we want to slice it. And there's many different ways. Um, we could go stacked slices, which are just slices on top of each other. Uh, not gonna help us with a lamp. We could do interlocking slices. Okay, looking a little bit better. But the one we're gonna use for our lamp is radial slices. So you can see radial slices there. And radial slices being um, these go around um, in a circle like that, pointing all to the middle. Okay, getting there, that's not too bad, but I know that if we will try to make this, there's many different slices, um, probably too many slices. So what I'm going to do, see on the first axis, it says there's 10 layers going uh, from top to bottom. From my experience making a lamp, let's just change that to eight. So you can see I click that down to eight, um, now you can go down less if you want, but eight I find is um, a really good number when making uh, one of these lamps. Uh, on the same same idea, we can also reduce the number of these slices. Uh, so I'm going to take that down to five. I find five works really well for one of these lamps. As I keep doing this, you'll see these pages over here. Uh, that's each one of these is actually one of the slices and you can send either this information here to either a laser cutter or just a normal printer if you want to print it out in paper to cut it out on uh, from our flute board. Okay, so I've got the number of slices I want, um, both um, this way and the stacks. Just a bit more information. It's currently in inches, so I'm going to change that to millimeters. Um, and I don't know why it does this. It always changes the height. So here it says 203, but if you remember, when we did it in Fusion, it was actually 140. So I'm gonna change that to 140 millimeters and hit enter. And all the rest will update as well. And you can see I've actually reduced how many pages this is gonna to print to, just cause it's, it's back to its proper size. Now, depending on what printer you're using, I'm using A4 paper. So I'm gonna change the uh, paper to A4. And one last setting we need to do, if you hit manufacturing settings, it will give you the material size, which is really important. So I'm gonna change that to millimeters. Now this, we don't, the height and width we don't change because that's our A4 piece of paper, but the thickness is really important. Uh, if I just, uh, we need to make sure, I've got mine set to 4.5, which is right for me because that's the thickness of my fluted board. But the offset, I'm going to change that to one millimeter, which just changes the offset um, in between the slots, which will mean our fluted board will go back together, uh, will assemble nicely. Um, it, that will depend on what kind of material that you're using. 
And the final thing we need to do is just to get playing. So I'm going to hit get playing. Um, and because I'll be printing this on a printer, just a normal 2D printer, I'm going to make PDF. And you can either export that to your computer or print that. Once we print that, we can cut that out to make up our lamp. Um, if you're using a laser cutter, you would have to export as DXF and the laser cutter will read that um, read that file. So just to sum everything up, um, we use both the revolve feature and the loft feature to build our shape. Once we were in Fusion 360 and had the shape we want, we went to make slicer for Fusion 360. In the software, I'll just get rid of this, uh, we had to make sure that we had the right paper size. We had to make had to make sure we we're using radial slices as our construction technique. I'm recommending that we have eight layers stacked up with five radial slices at the top. Um, and under manufacturing settings, just make sure you have the right. Oops, sorry. You have the. The right um, thickness and and slot thickness as well. There we go. So the right thickness for the board you're using and an appropriate offset to make sure that they all go together um, correctly. Okay. Uh, enjoy making your um, slicer lamp in Fusion 360.